Let's take a look at whether BF3 is ionic or covalent. This is boron trifluoride. So the first thing we'll do, we look at the periodic table. We find boron right here. That's a metalloid. Fluorine, that is a nonmetal. When we have a metalloid and a nonmetal, we're thinking that we have a covalent compound, also called a molecular compound. Let's take a look at the difference in electronegativity, though, and see. So we have boron right here, that's 2.04, and fluorine, that's 3.98. That's a difference of 1.94. So some scales will say if the difference in electronegativity is greater than 2, it's ionic. Some scales will say 1.7, anything greater than that is ionic. So we're in a bit of a difficult situation here. I would say since we have a metalloid and a nonmetal, I would consider this to be covalent. But we can use something called Fijon's rules to help us. So the first thing we look at is do we have a high positive charge? And boron, that's in group 13, sometimes called 3A. Boron has a 3 plus charge, so it has a high positive charge. We also know that if we look at the ions here, boron is a very small cation. It's a small positive ion. And fluorine, that's a small anion. But most of these here are on the side of covalent. So in this case, I would consider BF3 to be a covalent compound. This is Dr. B answering the question whether BF3, boron trifluoride, is covalent or ionic. It is a covalent compound. Thanks for watching.